Hi everybody and welcome to another tutorial. Um, well, it's not really a tutorial today because I'm doing something that I've never looked at before. Uh, I've been having a few problems with my homestead setup on this machine. So I thought it'd be a good time to try out Docker and see how you can run Laravel in Docker. So what I'm going to do is look at it for the first time. Um, I've not rehearsed this or anything. So hopefully if I hit any pitfalls, then you will see me fix the problems and be able to fix them yourselves before you get to it. So let's have a look. I'm going to use this. I've just done a quick Google and I've found uh, a library called Laradoc, which I think it has some containers setups that are already created that are like, optimized for Laravel. Uh, I do want to get to know Docker a bit better, so when I get more knowledge of it, I'll probably be able to do a better video on how to set it up from scratch without using this library. But uh, just for today, let's let's see how easy this is to do. Uh, I'm just going to be using this blog. It's the the just the default um, the default projects that you get from Laravel when when you're just testing out. So it's just a blank Laravel install here. So let's see how hard it is. So I've, I've already got Git, but the requirements say that we need Docker as well. So let's see. I will speed bits up if it if I'm downloading things I I won't make you sit through that so if if it does go to download something out I'll, I'll probably speed things up oh, you have to log in Right, so that's downloaded now. I really need a new Mac. This one's really slow now. Ah, oh, maybe I did look at Docker before. Can't remember doing that.
It looks like it's working. It's firing up in this top right hand corner. So let's go back to uh, the Laridox documentation. So I'm going to go on this. I al already have a project because I've, I'm using that blank Laravel project. Project root directory. So I'm just checking here if I set up Git on this project or not. I'm pretty sure I did, yeah. So I'm, I'm just doing Git reset hard to put it back so that it's... Oh, I think that's just the uh, Vagrant file, that's fine. From when, when I was trying to get my homestead box working. So I'm gonna just paste that command in that it says. Uh, it's a sub-module. And let's see what we do next. So Right, so I think this is where we start editing things to make it work. So So copy this env example to .env. It's not finished yet. So we've got this new folder here called Laradoc, so I'm guessing it's going to be in there. Right, yeah, so that's finished now. So in this Laradoc folder, I'm hoping there's going to be a ENV example. Yeah. So if we save that as .env. And then let's see what to do next. So docker compose up minus d nginx mysql so that must generate the uh, nginx and mysql config uh, run that inside the container I, I really don't know much about docker so I'm learning as much as you are <laughs> Oh, I think you have to go into the actual Laradoc. <coughs> let's let's see what to do next while this downloads. Oops. All right, so these rely on PHP FPM, but because they know it relies on it, it will automatically uh, launch PHP FPM by the looks of it.
So I wonder if that is all you have to do. It's still downloading. I'm pretty sure it goes to a, a port number though, not just localhost. Definitely a lot of customization you can do to the different things you can run on the container. Um, So that looks like it's done now. Uh, I'm going. I'm going to speed up that what's just loaded because it took pretty much half an hour on my uh, machine, which I don't think you want to sit through. So I'm not sure now how we actually. Oh, <laughs> that was pretty easy. So you literally just go to localhost, and then it's all set up. Um. I don't think that the uh, database will be set up or anything like that. But um, I'll probably do a second video to this, setting up the, the database. Let's just give it a quick try and see. So I run the make auth. Oh, oh yeah, I'm not in the... Uh, Run the make auth just to make those routes so you can log in. But um, I don't, if you look here, I think this must be how you get on to run your migrations and things like that. So let's go back into that Lower Dock and run this. So So this is like when you go on your homestead box and you you SSH into that. Yeah, I didn't think it would work. There's probably some uh environment variables that I need to set up and things like that. Ah, oh, let's just try see if this works. So if I go in my .env of that the actual project and change this, I think it said yeah, db host to MySQL. See if that works. No, it's not working. Let's just see if it tells you in here what it should be.
Ah, right. Let's see if. So it's. I wonder if it's set up this. So instead of homestead, we should put default and default for the database. See if that works. Hmm. I think what I'll do is um, I'll make another video on how to actually connect to the database and everything. So I'll I'll do a part two to this video to explain that. Uh, hopefully if this helps you get set up with docker uh, to start with anyway then consider subscribing and uh, put the notification bell on and then you'll get to see the next video when I work out how to uh, get the database connected on this. Uh, see you in the next video.